Hello! So, I have not filmed a video in approximately one year, but in other life news, I work at Sephora now. A customer saw my makeup today and asked if I have a YouTube channel. I couldn't tell her yes because the oldest or the newest video on here is a year old and this channel goes all the way back to high school. So I figured um, I would film a look um, that was exactly what I wore to work today just for that one lady that saw me at Sephora. So I want to start putting stuff on my face and I will update you guys as I go. So. I'm going to put a little bit of primer on. I've got Rare Illuminating Primer just to pop on the face and just going to put a little bit of foundation on just because I feel like it and it's what I worked to, wore to work today so I figured recreate the look just in case I do run into that gal again and yeah. So, um, crazy things have been happening while I've been away. Um, every so often I get the urge to create a YouTube video and I'm like, I don't have the equipment, I don't have a tripod, whatever. And then I'm like, I'm probably the only one who watches these videos anyway, so why not just make the video? So, got my primer on. I'm going to use Rare Beauty um foundation in shade 120c and just pop a little bit on that face mostly cover my this and i've got some breakouts here so the last time i posted i had just moved to a new city and was going to a new college I transferred um, I am now heading into my last semester at said college um, I'm gonna be graduating with a degree in political science and very excited to be done um, because I'm gonna graduate a semester early and very excited about that I I'm now working at Sephora. Um, the kid that started this YouTube channel would be so proud and surprised that I'm working at Sephora where my love of makeup started and you know where I got introduced to all of this lovely stuff. Um, so I work at a JCPenney Sephora which is going to be a JCPenney Beauty next year. So. Not so far for much longer, but I did get to have the experience and I still will be working at a makeup shop. So, I mean, dream job, honestly. So, I think that's good for our base. And if I recall, I did do my eyes first this morning, but I just feel like feel like doing it this way today. So, I guess we'll keep going. We'll keep going with this. I'm going to use Marc Jacobs bronzer in Tantastic. I can't show you the pan because it is broken. Um, let's see, what else has been happening here? Um, I'm moving out of this apartment. That was where the last um, video was filmed. Um, let's see, so for bronzer, I'm just going like middle, middle of the cheek. And um, just kind of pack that on and then blend upwards. Uh, I'm moving out of this apartment. I've lived here now for two years. And I'm moving in with my partner who I just had a one year anniversary with. I'm super, super excited about that. Um, the big old countdown right over here that you can see behind me is how many days until I move out of this apartment and move into my new apartment. So I was so very excited about that. And I have been packing, not enough, but I have been packing. And the entire bookshelf behind me is um, almost empty. Like I have, I swear, made like four different boxes and I still have books that I need to pack. 
but I guess that's just what happens when you keep all your textbooks and you just buy books whenever you want to. So, um, yeah. I am, so I'm getting ready to move. Um, let's see. I guess other than that, that's pretty much all that's been going on in my life. Um, I am still over on Instagram doing fun Instagram stuff. Uh, this is the Milk Blush in Rally. I'm almost done with it. Ah. Um, I'm really just using the brush because the plastic will hit my skin and disrupt the foundation. So I'm just stippling on kind of right on top of the bronzer there. And since it's a cream blush, it gives a really nice glow. Kind of fades throughout the day, but not terribly. Not terribly. Usually if I'm if I've done my makeup earlier that day and like I've got work at four, I'll just throw on a little bit of blush. Just some extra blush. Why not? Um jeez. Oh, so the look that we're gonna go for today is like very much rain like kind of orange sunset vibes so let's just get some brows on real quick i decided to stop at walmart today because i needed cleanser for my septum ring and then i decided to treat myself to some ice cream and to some new clothes so I got into a little tank top there and I got a jumper that I'm gonna try out um, my dress code is all black and so I want to find really cute clothes in all black just because I wear basically the same like five t-shirts and pair of jeans to work every day because it's hard to find cute clothes um, for work. Um, let's see. I'm also doing an internship in Des Moines at the moment. It is, um, in government, working in public health, and very exciting stuff. I am enjoying learning about government and about just, like, data input and that sort of stuff. I'm going to be working on updating our website and our FAQ sections um, as I go along. So I've got about like a month and a half, a little bit more of that um, left before I'm all done with my internship. But I'm really, really thankful to have had it and to be able to kind of learn about what it's like to work in an office. That's one of those jobs as a kid you're like, what do people do in offices? People do, people answer phones in offices and type on computers and that's about it. So, okay, base except for highlighter. Highlighter will be at the end. And this morning I did set my foundation with a little bit of powder under the eye as well as Urban Decay setting spray um but just it's the end of the night I'm just chilling having a little like play with makeup so I'm not gonna not gonna do that at the moment so I'm gonna use Urban Bible because it's just the palette that I have on hand that's what I used this morning but you can use literally any um shadows any like kind of orangey yellows this is what the palette's looking like at the moment um the shimmer pans i did get rid of myself just because i did not use those shimmers like ever i really like didn't like the fallout so um that's kind of what that's looking like got um, quite a bit of play in in this palette because it is my go-to palette so i'm just gonna set my eyelid area with just a big fluffy brush and a white shade. I've almost finished this shade, which is super fun. Yep. 
yeah, it is kind of crazy to me to think that um, I started this channel when I was in high school and I really just, you know, wanted to copy the YouTubers that I was watching at the time and um, I cannot believe that I'm working in the gift store. So I'm going to dip into a yellow shade and I'm going to put that high in the crease um, but also coming into the inner corner. Um, it's okay if it gets on the lid because we are going to smoke this look out. Sorry, my phone's going off behind me. So we've got kind of a high, almost up to the eyebrow, if we're being real. Um, the yellow is going to serve as kind of our our transition shade, if you will, um, really just a base to start laying other shadows down on. And I'm really just going in a circular motion out, upward, out, upward. And then the next one I'm going to go in with is like a mid-tone orange and just kind of go slightly below that we're getting onto the eyelid space here and then kind of digging it into the crease a little bit um, if you can like feel the hollow of your eye where your brow bone is we're kind of like pushing up onto that we are not like on top of it but like right underneath it and it also helps if you are looking down when you're doing your makeup because you're going to be having open eyes, open eyelids. You're going to see your eyes when they're mostly open. Um, so that's also a really good way to do eyeliner if you're having trouble with your eyeliner not looking right when you open your eyes. Um, do your eyeliner with your eyes open. Just learn how to not blink. <laughs> Easier said than done. And we're just going to blend this up. And I really have been packing this orange on in my looks because I am so close to hitting pan. I can feel it like in my bones. I can feel that I am going to hit pan in this like in the next week. And so I have just really been like almost almost to the point of over applying. But okay, so we've got we've got our blend from yellow to orange and then in this look today I decided to bring the orange right down below the lower lash so just pop a little bit extra on your brush look up and just run it under there if you have problems getting it under your eye or you feel like you're gonna poke yourself in the eye get a smaller brush get like a small shooter brush get just like something really little and you can run it right along there you don't even have to look up you can just do it that way but i'm kind of like i like to use one or two brushes for an entire look lots of times i will just use a fluffy brush um that's kind of been my signature since i started doing makeup was just using one brush and at first it was out of necessity now it's out of comfort um but to keep going with this look, we are going to go into a black eyeshadow with a kind of firm, um, not quite pencil brush, but like a smudging brush. Um, I believe this one is like technically a crease brush, but you know, just a small dunce brush. And we're going to make like a big triangle shape. Um, kind of just be messy with it it does not have to look amazing it doesn't have to be a wing it does not have to be anything so this is kind of like our little like triangle-ish shape and really just focusing on getting an angle that works for your eyes so like i want something i like to have my eyeliner start really in the middle of my eyes now um rather than the inner corner and 
that just really works for my eye shape. I found it really opens them up and it kind of gives them some more dimension. Guys, I took a call in the middle of that, so the lighting has changed a bunch. But I'm going to show you how to finish blending out this look and add a shimmer as the finishing touches and we will be good to go. So we've got our um, triangle shape, basically like a blown out liner wing, like the base of it. Um, and we will just start with the brush that I used for the orange and yellow. Um, just start kind of a back and forth, like a little bit of a swirling on the edges of that black. Just kind of dig it into the crease a little bit. This one I already had a little bit of like transferring into the crease, so it kind of did my job for me. Um, and just kind of blowing that out. And this is the key element. We are going to take the blending brush. I use two sides of the brush, so you can see that this side is black, this side is still orange. We're going to tip the black side into the black shadow. This is what gets me my seamless blends and kind of just pat the brush on top. This will make it more intense and then just smudge just a little bit. This is what gets the blown out like black smoky eye. And as we go further out, we use lighter pressure, so up here we're really just tapping as we go out. We're kind of just like lightly brushing the bristles against our skin. So unblended, blended. You can see there's a big difference. Like my face looks sculpted when it's blended, whereas on sorry, looking in the wrong place. On this side it is like very small. You know it's a good eye look but it's just it's not blown out it's not extra enough so here we're gonna pat on there and then we just kind of go out we go out and i am doing two different motions so i'm doing a kind of circle out this way when i'm blowing out towards the wing and then when I go back in I'm going the other direction and that kind of gets a good it's a good blend there we go and then we'll flip our brush back to the other side the orange side and tap on that and then we'll go right back over where those colors burnt which is super good because it gets a little bit of the orange and the black a little bit of black and the orange kind of evened out your eye look make sure everything's all connected and plus we haven't really you know the lighting's bad now but we haven't really connected anything um on that inner corner and i just got black eyeshadow all over my under eye which is why i did this eye look first when i did it this morning so don't follow my example as far as it goes for base than eyeshadow. Um, if you're doing a black smoky eye, you're gonna want, um, you're gonna want to put your base down second. Um, I'm just doing that because it's nighttime and I'm not wearing this anymore. So we've got our matte shadows and like if you wanted to, you could like just wing a little bit of the black you could bring it down underneath the eye I'm not gonna do that right now because I feel like that closes off my eye a whole lot so we are now done with this palette and how I finished off this look you could leave it as an all matte look you could you know just put a little bit of yellow on the inner corner just kind of um, do an all matte look that way um, but I am gonna pop into my shimmer collection and it's not in here it's in my little mini baby palette okay so i've got this little magnetic palette that has some fun colors in it i'm gonna try and do 
either a color story based off this tomorrow or a liner tutorial. So I'm not sure yet, but I'm gonna take this little yellow shade here on my finger. I've been enjoying shimmers on the finger and just pat that on the, oh, you can already see it. Um, pat that on the inner like half of my eye, but kind of like follow the shape that we've established. So whatever angle you chose for the black, we're gonna follow it with the yellow. Same on this side. This is also a great place to kind of even your eyes up if your black was placed in two different places. Um, let's see, where's my little makeup rag to wipe off on? Um, so if your black was placed in two different places or two different angles, you could use your shimmer as almost like a corrector um, and just go over the top of the black. It'll um, even it out, make it show like it's supposed to be that way and like your eyes are very even. So that would pretty much be the end of that look. I'm going to throw a little bit of highlighter on just to kind of finish the face off. I've, I've been switching back and forth whether I prefer a brush or my finger at the moment for concealer because with the blush it gets a little bit tacky. It stays tacky for a while and so sometimes the highlighter sticks to it. So they're glowing. Um, and then I would usually just pop some underneath my eyebrows, a little bit in the corner, but that would be the finished look. Add a little mascara on there. Um, so I am going to kick it up a notch and I'm going to do some white eyeliner in the um, first like third of my eye. So this is from Suva Beauty. This is Space Panda. And I think I'm just hydrating it with a little bit of water that I have in like a cosmetics bottle. And um, the best brushes for um, like liquid, like water activated liners, just go to Walmart and buy like a pack of paint brushes, like really small paint brushes. So I'm going to go on like the inner portion of my eye and just that right on there really keep it close to the lash line and since we aren't doing like a full liner we're just gonna kind of leave it like ha a little over halfway um, through my eyelid space and do that on the other eye just stamp it on And get it to about halfway. And then, okay, so two tricks for applying eyeliner like this. Um, you're gonna want to, one, follow your natural lash line very closely. Um, any, any gaps in a white liner like this are going to be visible. So you wanna follow very quickly, um, very closely. And the other thing is try not to get on your lashes too much. Try to pop the brush over your lashes, like go over them and then behind them. The other thing is find the shape that works for your eyes. This is about creating shape in your eyes, creating space. And so it doesn't have to follow the way that your like black eyeliner would normally. Um, you can do different shapes. You can kind of complement it and throw it off with a black liner. Or like this, we're just creating a bit of... Um, like a little like arch so that we can see it and we can appreciate it. Um, it doesn't just follow my lash line and just stop there and be super skinny. I've got a little bit of space. Um, and then also, if you're kind of blending it out into a softer look like this, um, I just take my brush and I just tap it on that area in between the blend. Uh, it's not gonna be a perfect blend, but it's gonna be good enough that anybody that's not like three inches from your face can not tell the difference and um, that way you don't get your liner brush dirty because you don't want to be dipping back into the white with a black um, eyeshadow stuck to your brush. So the other thing if you're using liner 
Um, I like to do a little bit of like a slant and kind of end it in a slant um, upwards rather than kind of like that blending outwards. So this is just a way to step up your game um, with the white eyeliner. Just throw it on there. It adds a little bit of pop, adds some pizzazz to your eyes. And I would pop on mascara and be done with it. So that is how I did that look for work today. And I will see you guys around hopefully sometime soon. Not in like the next year or so. But hopefully sometime soon. So bye.